my background is in industrial controls. So that's still kind of where, where I'm at now. It's the industrial sector, but less controls, more IOT based uh, projects. But in the control industrial controls world, like then nobody's using Docker, nobody's using remote over the air updates. Like these are all pretty cutting edge in this, um, in this, th these concepts are all cutting edge in this industry. Um, you know, they're not brand new technologies, but they're just not used in this industry. And so we have a way of fully automating our deployments. So the process for me committing code to it showing up on an edge device across the world is completely automated. JFrog Connect for me is really a, a uh, it's a scale, it's a scaling tool. So I can, I can, I can deploy these IoT um, edge and edge IoT integrations much quicker and manage them at a larger scale with a tool like JFrog Connect. I don't have to, there, there's less manual um, kind of like one off intervention connecting to different customer sites is always different with different VPNs and different firewall requirements and networking requirements. JFrog Connect is what, what I use to kind of standardize and keep my um, IoT process consistent. When I was looking for products like Connect, um, I was noticing that a lot of them kind of catered towards the customer who deploys a lot of the same thing. So like same edge device that has the same software on it and you need to send out a thousand of them. We are very different from that. We have every edge device we deploy is, has a completely different piece, piece of software on it. So the more kind of like features and enhancements that cater to that type of user will be more useful to me. So like I need, that's why I love the, the, uh, the template variables is because now I can just reference different Docker images with just a variable name. I don't have to create update flows for every single deployment, stuff like that. So we, we kind of are, I would say an atypical use case for this sort of thing, but I definitely don't, I definitely think it's going to be more prominent that users need to manage just unique devices out there as opposed to similar devices out there. If I could highlight a couple of Connect features that are most valuable to me, it would be the remote access feature, like port forwarding, essentially reverse, reverse SSH tunneling and the um, update flow concept. So I'm like super excited about the recent um, parameterization update. I, I've been needing that for a really long time because <laughs> we, we essentially just push Docker images down to these edge devices. So I now only have one update flow like template and I can use that to push to any of our devices and they all have different Docker images. There's like definitely two sides to that. There's the initial amount of time it takes to deploy a project and JFrog helps with that, but the support and maintenance aspect, the ongoing time it takes to troubleshoot issues, fix issues, redeploy patches, things like that. That's like, honestly, arguably more valuable. Um, the, like that aspect of Connect is honestly more valuable uh, because that saves us from having to take trips to job sites and physically go touch devices and plug in to networks and troubleshoot. And like it's that that's a very expensive process. Um, so that's what that's why I really like the remote access um, 
the the way that the remote access feature works, which which as I understand was came from UpSwift, but that SSH connection without like that's initiated by the agent is super, super nice. 